Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. Craig Singhaas is always digging up interesting cars as he travels the high road. Some are popular collectibles, while others are failed masterpieces. Great ideas doomed by the treacherous twists and turns of the automotive industry. Well, now Craig has found another fascinating car, and the struggling young company determined to leave its mark on the automotive scene. If you were going to build the world's finest sports car, what would it be like? Well, one automotive enthusiast, Warren Mosler, thinks that it would be like this. This is the Consulier GTP, and it personally reflects Warren Mosler's concept of a sports car for the 1990s. When I looked at other uh, sports cars that were offered for sale, I began to notice that they all weighed 3,000, 3,500 pounds, and realized that if a person could build a passenger car, a, a street car that weighed 2,000 pounds, it should easily outperform any other sports car in the world. The Consulier is powered by the 174 horsepower Chrysler Turbo 2 engine, which means a reliable source of federalized power plants for Mosler. You see, the Consulier is not just a one-off dream car. With a large manufacturing facility in Riviera Beach, Florida, Consulier Industries is hoping to eventually produce 200 fully federalized cars per year when production is at full capacity. Warren told us of the myriad of federal guidelines that Consulier had to meet. Everything had to be done within the framework of federal standards. And we've got a book there of regulations, things you, you'd never think of before. Uh, the air duct on the uh, top fender of the car was put there because the federal government requires so many cubic feet per minute of fresh air to be able to pass into the passenger compartment. Someone asked why we buy our armrests from Chrysler. Don't you think it would be nice to design something into the door? And when I showed them the federal regulations regarding armrests, it's nice to be able to get a piece that they've already uh, tested for us. Not that Consulier hasn't done plenty of testing on their own. Warren Mosler and chief development test driver Chet Phillips have spent hundreds of hours at various racetracks fine-tuning the Consulier GTP suspension and drivetrain. The result is almost an obsession with Warren Mosler to produce a street-driven car that is faster on a road race course than any other production car. And this is backed up by Mosler's involvement with the latest in full competition racing and its lightweight technologies. This led to the unique composite monocoque body of the car. While there are some steel pickup points for the front and rear suspension, the structural rigidity in between is provided by space-age composite plastics. The uh, skin and everything you'd see on the outside is covered with a layer of, of what's known as S-glass. It's an aircraft-grade fiberglass. It's a 12-ounce weave. 12 million pounds per square inch uh, tensile strength. But more important, it's very, very good under impact. Kids, don't do this on your dad's Ferrari. By now, you're probably wondering if all this weight-saving technology really adds up to anything. Well, I've got to tell you that the Consulier is fast, zero to 60 in under six seconds. And it handles like a true sports racer on the racetrack. But unlike a race car adapted to the street, the Consulier is actually an easy car to live with on the road. Its race-bred suspension is really compliant with soft springs and enjoyable steering. And its Dodge Daytona-derived drivetrain is almost too docile for a killer exotic, but it is easy in traffic. It seems that styling is an area of mixed reviews. While the blunt nose and tail-mounted radiator are perfect for aerodynamic function, some critics have said that a few compromises for aesthetics would greatly help those critical year-end sales figures. So, will Warren Mosler be the new Henry Ford or the next Preston Tucker? Well, only time and a MotorWeek road test will tell.